So this washer is not spinning at all. We're going to drain it and see what's going on. See those couplers there? That's not spinning at all. Just gonna unplug that. Two screws in the back. I'm gonna remove this shell. Some people like to work on these by tipping them flat on the back. I just think this is it's a little easier, a little less messy with the cleanup. Pull forward, and it's back. Drain pump held in by two clips. Remove the plug from the motor. There's two clips held in by a quarter inch screw on the bottom and top of the motor. Try up the clip. Oh yeah. There's our problem. This is just completely cracked in half. Look at that. So it's not spinning. All right. Remove all the old pieces. Got some brand new motor couplers. I'm gonna throw this in. I'm gonna clean up this motor a little bit before I put the motor coupler on. There's the part number. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm gonna slide this on first, just so I make sure that I got it all the way on there. You don't want it on there halfway. And then I'm gonna line these up. I just find it easier to do it this way. And you can do it however you want. But we got the shaft up and down, the hole up and down and then the shaft up and down. Prior to trying to put this in, I'm gonna get my clip ready. It's gonna hang right there, and I'm just gonna lift that up when I put the motor in. All right. Get that flush. You can feel the shaft going to the motor coupling. Snap your clips. Plug your motor back in. Same with the motor clips. I like to get these ready to go. And then line this shaft up. Once that sits flush, snap it in. Don't forget to put the screws in to your motor like I just did. No big deal. All right, let's see what we got. Spin. Spinning like a champ now, baby.